The US dollar, the US dollar as global lead currency continues to come under pressure. Will we see the dollar collapse in the near future? Good evening, dear viewers, to our today's media commentary. Russia's President Putin, as a result of the Ukraine crisis orchestrated by the West and the sanctions against Russia, decided to bail their oil and gas transactions in Euro or even Russian rubles instead of US dollars. But this is just the beginning. Russia, China and the Iran are obviously negotiating to carry out their bilateral trade, especially the commodity trade, in their own currencies. The plans are, so to say, not to accept the US dollar any longer as a means of payment. To control the world currency is an exorbitant, that means an immensely great privilege, as Charles de Gaulle once called it. That's why the Secretary of Treasury, John Canoli, said in 1971, the dollar is our currency, but your problem. Why did the US dollar become the global currency? Simply because every country needs lots of dollars. And that's been the case for over 60 years now. The rise to become an international currency began at Bretton Woods Conference. In 1944, the Treasury secretaries and central bankers of 44 countries met in this little US town to talk about the post-war order of finances. The two world wars consumed considerable amounts of money, especially in the European countries. Many nations barely were solvent. The US, on the other hand, had risen to global power. In Bretton Woods, all the exchange rates were fixed to the dollar, and the dollar itself was backed with gold. But when the Japanese and the European, above all the German economy, boomed again and the gold coverage was abolished in 1971, the demand for the now unreliable US dollar declined in a massive way. Thus, the Americans resorted to a trick. It was stipulated with the OPEC, that is, the leading oil producers, that oil could only be invoiced in dollars further on. By this, an artificial demand for the US dollar was again created. Because this meant in practice, nobody in the world could pay oil in his own currency, but had to buy US dollars first in order to pay. Thus, the term petrodollar was created. With this, the USA was able to always sell their currency as a merchandise, a huge business. This mechanism allowed America to become the world's leading military and suppression power, even though plunged in debt worldwide. Thus, it is not a surprise that the Russian President Putin said at a conference in 2012 that uh, the petrodollar finance system clings to the other nations like a parasite sucking them out. Whenever single countries left this obligation in the past, they were called to order by the Americans and, if necessary, bombed back into the Stone Age, as a high US general described it. Iraq with Saddam Hussein and Libya with Gaddafi belong to these tragic climaxes. Now it is to be observed whether America can whistle back Russia, yet also China and will, if necessary, provoke a war again. Otherwise, America has to reluctantly forfeit its supremacy and artificial dollar demand. However, the Russians do not want to sell their oil for US dollars any longer. They want to be paid in their own currency in rubles. By this, America's supremacy is broken down, at least in the Russian oil and gas business. Russia, yet also China, are ready now to defy America. This has become obvious in the Syria conflict, but in the Ukraine upheaval as well. 
America has to adjust to a shift in the power hierarchy. However, it may at least be questioned whether or not this may take place peacefully. Let's go on defying this power by means of enlightenment. Therefore, tune in tomorrow as well at klagemauer.tv and spread these news. Goodbye and see you tomorrow.